Stage number nine of the 2023 Tour de France. A difficult stage ending with a grueling ascent to Puy de Dôme with the enthusiastic fans blocking almost every stretch of road. The first one to cross the finish line had the name Israel on his jersey. It was Michael Woods representing Israeli team Israel Premier Tech, partly funded by I-24 News. Winning individually was really special. It's the, my career highlight. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, something I'll be forever proud of. I was the one who crossed the line first, but I couldn't have done it without my team. The stage win is the jewel of the crown, but far from being the only highlight. This was one of the most common sights of the race this year. Chris Nylands leading the race. He took part in eight breakaway groups, making Israel Premier Tech one of the most aggressive teams in the competition. I'm super happy. The team, we are all super happy about the performance of our team. Um, we have been almost every day in the breakaways and, uh, and a more than deserved win and maybe the most pres prestigious one, Puy de Dome. Uh, that Mike won and uh, again we have been every day in the picture, we have been every day in the breakaways. Uh. It was a major success story on the roads around France and not only on the professional level. This is amazing for the image of Israel to be a normal country for once, seen by the largest audiences in the world and I'm really, really proud of this project. <laughs> Israeli flags were waving all along the road for something which only a few years ago seemed impossible. When I was a kid and I saw the Tour de France, I would never imagine that a team that carrying the name Israel Premier Tech, or Israel at least, uh, will be part and will be actually a, a proper team in the Tour. The riders are now getting their well-deserved rest, but the owners are already working on what is ahead and are not afraid to set a very high bar. I'm really proud of the, how much success we had because we got talked about a lot during this tour and we will continue to grow do better and better and better and one day we will win the Tour de France. Sounds crazy but only a few years ago the presence of an Israeli team also sounded crazy but now it's already happened three times. What's next? If three stages of the Giro d'Italia were held in Israel in 2018, why not the Tour de France in 2024? If the French are nice like the Italians to negotiate with us, we can start a stage like last year it started in Copenhagen, this year it started in the Basque country, in Bilbao, and maybe next year it can start in Jerusalem. Why not? Tour de France beginning in Jerusalem, clearly something to wait for.